Yeah, not sure what happened, but I was sitting there talking and the video just, like my camera just closed. And can't see the sunset anymore, it's already gone down. Uh, just a minute ago there was a nice red streak across the sky from the sunset. Uh, but we're out here, standing out here in the rain. Um, as you can see, I got the dirt burned up over the top of the vapor barrier for this west half of the roof. Um, not all the way done over there yet, but it is raining. And that water is dripping into the gutters. Sorry, you can see it running into the gutter, which is then running down the pipe and into our tank. Uh, yeah, we're getting there. A little bit of progress all the time. Any bit of water that uh, runs into there or off the roof saves me um, hauling water. So anything that goes in there is a little bit less I have to haul. So I'm hoping we get a lot of uh, a lot of rain going in there. A lot of water going in there. I mean, huh? I'm noticing. Right here, a lot of the rain is running off the side of the roof here, but, oh well. You see it just running down in a trickle on the, along the roof. And down into the gutter. And yeah, this uh, north side does not have the dirt berm, bermed up over the top of the vapor barrier. Vapor barrier's down, a little bit of uh, dirt and block there just to hold it down. But over here vapor barriers down and I've got the dirt all bermed up over the top and let's take another look at the water flowing into the tank I don't know if you can hear it or not, but I can hear the water um, dropping into the tank through this uh, debris catch. So, the way this works here, this plastic bowl, uh, I've used a plastic one mainly because I couldn't uh, find a stainless steel one locally. Um, so I'm going to have to order one, and it's big enough, and then uh, redo it with a stainless steel one. But I figured the plastic one will work for now. Um, but there's about a hundred holes, eighth inch holes drilled in the bottom of that plastic bowl. And then I filled it with rock, uh, just a washed gravel. And, uh, then it's just, uh, catching the rainwater off the roof and flowing down into here. And then basically that wash, that washed gravel in that bowl acts as a debris catch, um, catches any large debris before it would go into the tank and then the tank acts as a uh, um, basically a sediment filter anything that's heavier than water will settle out into the bottom of the tank um, and the outlet for the tank is about three inches up off the bottom so it allows for that sediment to settle into that bottom three inches and then uh, when the when it goes into the house, um, I've got um, a screen filter, and that then it goes through the pump. So it goes through a screen filter in the house, then the pump, and then after the pump, um, I've got it teeing off and going to the the branch goes off to the toilet. But then the rest of the water goes through a five micron filter and a carbon filter. So and there's no reason to use send the water that's going to the toilet through those extra two filters. But all the water going to the shower, the water heater, the drinking water, washing hands water is all filtered through the five micron filter and the carbon filter. So, I mean, technically it is a uh, five stage filtration with the, uh, the debris catch in the top, the um, tank acting as a sediment filter, then a screen filter before the pump, then a five micron filter, and a carbon filter. And uh, that's about it. I'm gonna pause it and I'll walk in and show you the filters inside. All right, continuing on. 
Um, so the showed out earlier, a little bit earlier, the rain catchment into the debris catch and then the tank. And then that water line from the tank comes in here. Got a shutoff valve here and then a screen filter goes into the pump, which it's a 120 volt pump plugs in right there. And I have a pressure regulator here, um, liquid filled valve and a, same, a pressure regulator from a, uh, um, basically a well pressure regulator. And then right here's where I was talking where it tees off and goes to the toilet. This blue line goes to the toilet. The rest of it comes here through these two filters, a uh, 10 inch tall. This is a five micron filter. And then this is a carbon filter. And then out of there, it runs into the water heater. So we have a Renai water heater and then splits to the different things. You see it comes down here at T's, goes over to the water heater. This little loop under here is a bypass for the water heater. In case the water heater, heater ever goes out, we can still get water out of the hot water lines uh, just by opening this valve. And yeah, then these two split to go two different directions. One of them goes over towards where the bathroom sink it will be. It's not installed yet. And to the washer box. And then the other one goes to the bathtub and... On the other side of the wall from the tub is where the kitchen sink will be. So it splits two ways. And then the red splits the same direction. And then that th the other blue one here um, is the one going to the toilet. And yeah, so that's, that's our water system here. Oh. If anybody's liking these videos, go ahead and like and subscribe. And share them. And we have been getting a lot more subscribers this month. So... Appreciate all that. Thank you, everybody.